Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Uyam, and today we'll like to draw your attention to a critical issue that has far-reaching implications for Africa and its future itself, the population growth in the continent. Africa is experiencing rapid population growth, and it is essential to understand its causes, impacts, and potential solutions. Now, the first step that I would like to reach in today's speech is about the causes of African population growth. First thing first is about the high birth rates, as we all do know. One of the primary factors driving population growth in Africa is the constant high birth rates. Many African countries have fertility rates uh, well above the others and the global uh, the global average, with women having an average of about five children in some areas. Factors such as cultural values or limited education can contribute to high birth rates. Secondly, is about declining mortality rates. Improving healthcare, access to vaccines, and the advancement in medical technology has led to a significant decline in the mortality rates across Africa. The reduced incidences of diseases such as malaria, HIV, or AIDS, and improved healthcare infrastructures has contributed to increased life expectancy. Population growth in Africa is also connected to education. Education plays a significant role in addressing population growth and its associated changes. First thing is about the awareness and access to family planning. Education plays a critical role in raising awareness about family and plan uh, family planning methods, reproductive health, and the importance of birth control. Without access to quality education, with uh, with and without access to quality education, individuals, particularly women, are more likely to have the knowledge uh, of resources and resources to make informed decisions about family sizes and spacing birth. Secondly, it's about the emp empowerment of women, which I mean the feminist movement and the empower of women movement. Education has a transformative effect on women's empowerment and gender equality. Why do we say this? Because when girls and women have the access to education, they are more likely to delay marriage and have fewer children and actively participate in workforce. However, as we can see, the access to education in certain countries in Africa has not been contributed and has not been introduced to the women and, uh, and girls in certain countries itself. Thirdly, it's about the social economic development, right? The education is a key driver of social economic development. It equips individuals with knowledge and skills that can lead to better uh, employment opportunities, higher incomes, and improved living standards. As countries invest in education and achieve higher literacy rates, there is a possible uh, coloration, as we can say it, with, a lower, with lower fertility rates and more sustainable population growth. The impacts on of African population growth is the firstly about the pressure on resources, right? Because the rapid population growth puts immense pressure on limited resources such as land, water, and food. The strain of resources can lead to increased competition, food insecurity, and environmental degradation. Secondly, is about the infrastructure challenges. The infrastructure development, including housing, transportation, and healthcare facilities, and education institutions as well, may struggle to keep pace with the population growth because it results in inadequate services. Thirdly, is about unemployment and poverty in the country. Uh, despite our economic growth, in the increasing population can lead to higher employment rates, and particularly amongst the youth, the newborns. The lack of job opportunities exacerbates the poverty levels and hampers social economic development in these countries in Africa. Thirdly, fourthly, is about the uh, healthcare and educational damages and demands. Uh, the, tar the larger population requires an increased investment in healthcare and education itself because the government needs to provide an accessible quality healthcare to services as well as, as expand the education opportunities to meet the needs of growing population. I say that also means that addressing population growth in Africa requires a, a comprehensive approach that tackles social, economic, and health-related factors. Some of the strategies that can contribute to managing population growth include, firstly, about family planning and reproductive health. About uh, secondly, is about education and empowerment. The uh, thirdly is about poverty alleviation and economic development. It's also about uh, healthcare and infrastructures and services, uh, like for example, droids and all that. For the for the countries of Africa, the uh, fifthly the fifth thing is about women's empowerment and gender equality that I have mentioned above before, and also about awareness and behavioral changes that promote awareness about the implications of rapid population growth and the benefits of smaller family sizes through campaigns, media's, and community, uh, community engagement. In the status quo, by implementing these measures, societies can work to, uh, to, towards minimizing population growth while improving overall well-being and sustainable development of a country itself. Thank you.